I mean, from beginning to end, uh, authenticity and, and believability have been a big priority. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I uh, just wanted to say one thing today <laughs> because I had this video that I posted on November 25th on my channel and it's gotten a lot of views. Uh, right now it's got 866,000 views which is a lot for my channel and it's an interview with a former FBI agent and a former hacker. The funny thing is I did this interview in 2015 and I never really posted it because I was like, I don't know, I usually just post interviews with celebrities, but for some reason people really got interested in this and uh, I've gotten so many comments and most of the comments are saying that, oh, this, this is a fake interview, these people are fake, they're not really FBI, they're not anonymous, especially not anonymous. Why would you say you're an anonymous? if you are an anonymous. Uh, well, first I have to say that this guy, Christopher McKinley, used to be involved in anonymous, which is a different thing. So he is open about it now, but when he was a part of anonymous, I'm sure he didn't talk about it. Right now, uh, all I know is what Universal Pictures were saying about these guys and what were in the production notes of the movie Black Hats. Uh, and the reason why I interviewed them was because they were consulting on this movie called Black Hat, which was uh, a movie with uh, Chris Hemsworth and um, uh, Michael Mann was directing it. They hired, as I said, this former FBI agent, uh, Michael Panzino, and Christopher McKinley to help them make the movie seem real. People are just calling this all fake and fake news, which is kind of funny. Uh, I do not produce fake news, okay? Just to make that clear. Um, this is an interview that I did. I had five minutes with them. I wish I had much longer. Obviously, a lot of people are saying that too. I did leave out a small little thing that Christopher said, uh, which is kind of like helps you understand his involvement in this film, uh, which was about how he did the source coding. So I'm just gonna let you hear what he says about it. I don't understand so much about programming, so I'm just gonna let him do the talking and I hope that clears things up a little bit. <laughs> you know, a lot of these things have happened, so, um, you know. Yeah, absolutely, Stuxnet, the virus that destroyed enrichment facilities in Iran was the original conceit for this movie and uh, you know, a lot of the source code that I put on screen at various parts in the movie came from the original Stuxnet source code. So, uh, yeah, I mean, from beginning to end, uh, authenticity and, and believability have been uh, big priorities. This movie takes it just a little bit, you know, ratchets it up a little bit and goes a little bit beyond where we are right at this moment. But I mean, I think that's why it's so, it's so exciting and so prescient, you know, because it's right there. But it's hard for us. I mean, I was trying to understand the parts of it, which was like, I don't know, I, yeah, I lost it a little bit there. But <laughs> but you wrote some of the codes and they're real in this? Yeah, absolutely. I wrote uh, everything uh, or sourced it from Stuxnet code. Uh, so it's all extremely real, internally consistent and, uh, you know, ready for all the people who want to pause and go through frame by frame. So um, let's keep our fingers crossed that no one's going to harm us anytime soon. And um, have a wonderful day. And thanks for stopping by my channel. Bye.